and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm excited to be a part of the Team Tiny Holiday Hop where we are sharing holiday themed slimline cards. So let's jump right in and I'll tell you more about Team Tiny and the hop here in just a bit. The card I made today features the Simon Hurley Create Sweater Weather Stencil and it is super easy to make. First I'm taking a sheet of Simon Hurley Create Stark White cardstock which is 110 pounds and I'm cutting it down to seven inches on the 11 inch side so that I can create my card base. Now I'm taking that extra piece and cutting it down to three and a half inches to create my panel. The reason I like using Simon Hurley's cardstock is because it's heavy enough to use as a base, but ink also blends really well on it, so that's why I'm using the same cardstock for my panel. Now I know there are several different dimensions out there for slimline cards, but I like these measurements the best because I can get the most use out of my cardstock. Now I'm going to tack down my stencil to my glass mat so that it won't move while I'm using it. And to do this, I'm using this Pixie Spray off camera, which is a low tack spray adhesive. Sometimes I use a box to spray this in, but today I just held it over my trash can and it worked just fine. Now I'm just trying to line up the edges so that when I'm done inking up the top half, I can move it down easily to continue the pattern. This stencil is geometric, so it's really easy to line up the pattern on it, so you can make any size card you want with it. I'm using Simon Hurley's inks. This is one of his green colors called Fake Plant. I'm applying this using a Picket Fence life-changing blender brush. I usually use foam applicators, but because this is a really intricate stencil, I thought I'd try it with a brush this time so the bristles could get down into the nooks and crannies. So let me tell you about this video hop. A group of crafters from the Team Tiny Facebook group come together each month to create cards with our chosen theme. It is a hashtag driven hop, which means that if you click on the hashtag in the description box, you'll be able to find all of the videos that were made by the many talented creators that are participating. So when you're finished watching this video, go check them out. Please leave a comment at each stop and also consider subscribing if you like what you see. We really do appreciate all of our subscribers. So here I'm just moving the stencil down and lining up the pattern so that I can continue inking up the bottom half of my card. I lined that stencil back up with the original pattern and then moved it down slightly and to the left so that the additional white area on the card could be colored in with the red color to create that kaleidoscope effect. Now I didn't show this part on camera because this is my first time using this stencil and it took me a bit to figure out exactly where it needed to go. But you'll see how I do it here in a minute when I move it down to the next area. Now this color I'm using here is a dark red color called Game Over. I'm not really sure where these color names came from, but I have to guess that this one maybe came from a video game. Maybe, because it's kind of the color of blood, and when you see the blood spurting on video games, it usually means that you're killed and it's game over. But that's just my guess. But I'd love for Simon to tell me how he came up with the name for these inks. I just love them. Maybe he'll see this video and post a comment. So you see me struggling a little bit here again to get this in the right spot but if you can just remember to move it down slightly and then a little to the left and then just look through the holes and make sure you have just the background showing through in this case white and then you can proceed one of my favorite things to do right before the holidays is to take a pack of pattern paper and make a bunch of christmas cards I try to use sheets like this one and use them for my sentiments. This is an extra sheet from a paper pad that I bought from Michaels last year that I found in my scrap bin and when I saw these larger rectangle pieces with the silver foil on them, I thought they would be perfect for slimline cards. So now I'm on a mission to use all of these to create more slimline cards and use them to give money for Christmas gifts. Slimline cards are perfect for placing some cash inside, don't you think? I plan to use my gift card holder dies and then add another piece of cardstock as the insert piece and adjust them so that a dollar bill will fit in it. I'll link these dies along with all the other supplies I'm using to make this card in the description box below in case you're interested in purchasing any of the items. So I trimmed down my, my panel to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches and then I trimmed down a frame which was an eighth of an inch larger than the panel. And here I'm just creating a frame for my sentiment and I'm just kind of trimming it down to make it work. I didn't really measure this out. Now this foil piece came from 
I believe Hobby Lobby, but I'm not exactly sure, but you can pretty much pick it up in any craft store. So here I'm just scoring my card base right down the middle at three and a half inches. And then I'm lining up the edge on my scoring board so that I can make sure that it lines up exactly at the bottom. I like to make sure that I have a really good crease so that it'll stay flat. Now here I'm just gluing my pieces on using some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Glue. And I know that I say this in every single one of my videos, but this is my all-time favorite liquid glue because it gives me just enough time to get it where I want it to be. And um, But it does dry quickly and it dries clear. So in case any of the glue seeps out, it um, won't mess up anything. Using this pre-made sentiment from the paper pad made this card super quick and easy to make. If you have some 12 by 12 paper pads lying around, take a look and see if there are any pages with rectangle pieces that you can use for slimline cards. I'm currently working on a video to show you how I use pattern paper to mass produce cards where I use every square inch of the paper. I'll also share some of my card sketches and provide a template on how to cut the paper, so make sure you stay tuned. And also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So here I'm just finishing off the card with some silver rhinestones that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And this is my finished card for the day. I really hope you like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate you watching. You can find me also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. So um, also check out my website, cardsbykinder.com. I recently updated it. Thanks again, and I hope you have a wonderful day.